Thank you so much. Thanks for your thoughtful questions. Miss Jones, it is an honor to see you again. This is genuinely the best performance of your entire career. So seriously, thank wow. you for taking the time. I appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm going to start out this interview by honestly just admitting that I I think something's wrong with me because I have become more protective and care more about Sonny's safety than I do most <laughs> human characters on television. And it's the same thing like with the dragons on House of the Dragon or like if there's a dog in a movie. Uh, so curious, what does it say about me or anyone <laughs> like me that I care more about Sonny and dragons and dogs in, in pop culture than often I do the humans in the story? I'm not going to psychoanalyze you. That is not my job. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to judge you. Um, but I think what you're saying is that TV writers are doing their job. Actors are doing their job, right? Because you care. Um, so that that's a good thing. Um, I think also that's, you know, it's weird. We do kind of as humans, we're, we can very quickly adopt this feeling and care and empathy for something if it's if we're given enough information to believe that we should care about it. And I definitely relate to that. I felt like there were times when I would look at Sunny and she would, you know, power down and I'd be like, Sunny, no, you know, which is crazy because it's not real. But that's, that's sort of our gift and our curse as people is that we very quickly can accept our circumstances and have empathy for things that might not even be truly real. I mean, that's that's the you're exactly right. Also, that's a sign of good performances and good writing that we're watching fictional stories and we're caring about cre creatures and people that don't exist. So I'm with you 100 percent. You have been a part of, of so many different projects where I feel like the setting, the location played such a massive part on your character in the story. I'm thinking of like uh, The Office and, and Parks and Rec. And obviously this series does. I'm sort of curious for you as an actor, what's the, the most a shooting location has ever affected your experience with a role or your experience working on a project? as a whole well i'm not i'm not just saying this because we're talking about sunny but i think it, it has to be sunny you know i lived in japan for six months and so i definitely experienced the 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 reality of being a foreigner in a foreign land and i love japan absolutely love it but it does feel like as an outsider it's very hard to penetrate the culture and really understand the culture um and everybody was so nice and so welcoming but at the end of the day, there is a, there's a slight kind of isolation that you feel, just not being home. Um, so that was very real for me, for mm -hmm. sure. That makes sense. Uh, speaking of home, uh, I am talking to you from, you can't really see because yeah, it's very is that cloudy real today. real behind you? This is real, yeah. This, I'm in my apartment. This is, is happening yeah, in Chicago? Yeah, that's, that's, that's live right now. Beautiful. Here, here in Chicago. Uh, but speaking of Chicago, uh, I, I'm a massive fan of uh, your documentary, Quincy. Um, oh, and you. you're obviously your father is nothing short of, of a genius. Born here in Chicago. He experienced Chicago uh, very differently than many people who live here in the city right now. I'm just sort of curious. I would love to know uh, what you remember about him telling you about his time in our city and, and maybe your own experience in Chicago. Yeah, I, I love Chicago. I've been there a few times. Um, you know, my dad grew up in the south side of Chicago in the 30s, which is <laughs> almost 100 years ago at this point. Um, he had a very different experience than I'm sure people do, do now. Um, but he has a lot of Chicago pride. Um, and I don't know, there is something that, I mean, it's such a great city. There's so much going on in Chicago culturally. Um, that I have to believe that was some seed of who he was started to grow there, even though he moved to Seattle when he was about nine or oh, mm -hmm. yeah, eight or nine. Um, he, that's, you know, that's where he was born and bred. And I know, you know, he talks a lot about like his father's style and how he wanted to be like his dad. I feel like Chicago is very well known, especially during that time for the style, the fashion was really popping off, but also, you know, there was a lot of hardship for him there. Yeah. Well, he he obviously made uh, a, a lot of it, and I love sort of the the tie that obviously Oprah isn't from here, but the you know her she has such a, a huge part of of our city and, and them getting to work together. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll cut you loose on this. Obviously, AI is, is such a massive topic that is not just being focused on in this show, but everyone is talking about. It. I'm sort of curious. It was a massive uh, conversation point uh, of the strike last year. Uh, at what point in your career have you started to notice? It's seeping into your industry. Did you start noticing that it was it was having an impact even before it became a conversation point, both with this show and the strike last year? 
That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know if we would see it kind of yet in our industry. I mean, I know that they use AI already. Directors use AI to kind of prep for movies and stuff. Um, and I know there's some th kind of big debates going on about you know voices and using AI to kind of you know recreate voices and actors and destroy jobs in every industry. But I do think there's probably stuff we take for granted. I mean, they already use AI with all these algorithms, with all these streamers, with all of you know our searches online. They are mining data and they're using these very sophisticated, quick, quickly training. Um, AIs on to, to do that, to gather. And I think we, you know, this is as much a conversation about ownership and IP as it is about privacy, because mm -hmm. the truth is all, every everybody's gathering data and training their AI for their particular for-profit conglomerates right now. So it's something that everybody should be talking about in every industry because it's a, it is a massive, it's probably the biggest, one of the biggest conversations of our time. And I think that's one of the impressive things about this show is that it's it's so many different emotions that you're feeling, but also sort of in, you know buried inside of it is also a really great conversation point. Um, I could talk with you all day. They're pulling me out yeah, of here. I just want to say thank you for for being a part of so many uh, projects that mean a lot to me. Thank um, and you. this is this is uh, near the top of the list. So seriously, thank you for thank taking you the time. So I appreciate thank you so much. Thanks for your thoughtful questions. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks. Bye. We don't need roads.